What is up, Airsofters? Today I want to talk about uh, another one of those cost-effective things that you can use if you're making videos or you just want to record your own footage and you're a sniper. Today we are going to talk about cheap iPhone scope cam mounts. So I went on Amazon and I found for $9 this little, it said, universal mount for telescopes, rifle scopes, uh, microscopes, any type of scopish thing that you can think of that you have to look through one eye to see through. Um, and I figured, you know what? Instead of buying a zoom cam, let me try this first. It's only $9, plus I can use it for other things even if I don't want to use it for Airsoft. So it came in this little itty bitty box. It came in two days because Amazon Prime is a great thing. And this is it right here. So right now, uh, I have a standing in bracket. This is usually an adjustable bracket. If you can take a look, I'm actually using the adjustable bracket because it fits better on my tripod here um, to hold my camera. So the adjustable bracket is a little bit wider than this and it has a knob on the side. Uh, and it has two back brackets and a base bracket. This is basically the same thing except it's just not as adjustable. So when it came, it came without, give me a second, if I can unscrew this because I tightened it with pliers. It came without these extenders on it. Now these extenders came with my action camera and it just made it line up better. So you see that's a normal like GoPro extension right here. Usually that this just clamps onto there. And I found that with my scope, the eye relief was so poor that I couldn't actually use it for that. And I needed the, well, it's not the eye relief was poor. It's just, it's farther off. So I needed it to be longer to get it to fit. Now the way this works is it looks straight through your scope so to see through your scope though you have to look through your phone and i found after playing a weekend which i'm going to put in the footage of what it looks like to see through um, after playing a game i found it was very hard to see through my phone now necessarily it doesn't mean that's a bad thing when i was in the shade it made it very easy but the glare on my phone was so bad that i couldn't see through the scope accurately yeah plus you know because i'm looking through the lenses of the goggle plus then i'm looking through my phone and then into the scope so you know, it was kind of hard to get a good shot. I did manage to get only one kill. You know, sadly, it was only one kill, but still, I managed to get it. So to get one of these lined up on the scope, what you're going to do, this is also not the scope I use on my rifle. Uh, this is my backup one, so if anything happens to my rifle scope, uh, I have this just in case, and it stays in my gun bag. i got to watch over my back. Someone saw a mountain lion over here the other day, so i got to oh, gotta make sure there's nothing around. Anyway. So this is a small end one. I use a fatter one. So you line this up the way you want it. You tighten it down. It's very simple. Once that's tightened on there like that, you can see, I wonder if you can see through this. Eh, probably not. Um, then what you do is you can see how it's like sideways. You can do it sideways. You can do it on the top. You can do it on the side, on the bottom. Obviously on the bottom it would be harder and so is the top. So you go on the right or left side. The phone would then sit and lock into here and then you just spend the time adjusting these dials to get your phone lined up. It's gonna take some prep work. It's not something that you can just take out of the box at the field for the first time and try and figure it out. It's gonna take you about a half an hour to get it as perfect as you possibly can. But either way, it works. Overall, I found that this was not the greatest if you're trying to do you know, excellent scope cam footage. I found that it worked very well on like a four times scope or you know like a simple ACOG or just a red dot or something you know if you want to do that that worked very well uh, I didn't actually film for that game just because it wasn't my gun that I mounted it to uh, I will be doing one hopefully this coming weekend and if I do get the footage I'll make sure I cut it in right now if I don't well now I'm just talking about it and it doesn't matter anyway um, but either way I found that this wasn't the greatest thing for sniping granted if I practiced with it, I could definitely do it. So if you know, and the, the, the quality wasn't bad at all. Um, so I, would, I wouldn't suggest it to everyone. Um, but if you're on a budget and you still want to try it, like I said, it's only $9. And there are ones that are even cheaper than this. And there are ones that are a little bit nicer. I found uh, that there's a company that makes one that just sleeves over and you don't have to worry about eye relief. You literally just clip it on and you're good to go and it does the eye relief for you. So, you know, I have no complaints. Uh, when it comes to that quality wise it's made of metal I'm not gonna break it um, at least the important bracketing parts are made of metal 
The camera holder itself is made of both metal and plastic, um, but it, it was very strong and I have no complaints. Uh, the only thing that I had to, you know, that was a problem was getting the actual eye relief. So, you know, I would suggest because it's just easier, buy a few. Uh, it's like you can get them for anywhere between like a dollar to ten dollars to get the GoPro action cam mounts because they're usually universal and you can just stack them one on the other to make it line up and I found it works very well. So for nine dollars, this isn't bad, um, but in comparison of using like a zoom cam, you know, you can, you, there are definitely things that if you're making videos consistently that you're sniping or using a scope, yes. If you're making a video once in a while, this is good, but if you're consistently doing it, I wouldn't suggest it. Other than that, not a bad thing, and, you know, it's not a bad product at all. So, guys, this has been Paul from Valley of Central Airsoft. Look into it. Happy airsofting. See on the top. Nice shot!